Pensacola took a major hit from Ivan. You'll remember the truck driver who was killed when the cab of his 18 wheeler plunged from I-10 into Pensacola Bay during the height of the storm. News 5's Alexa Daly caught up with residents in Pensacola's Grand Lagoon area who say their neighborhood was wiped out by the storm. That was totally gone. Looking at the photos taken in the aftermath of Hurricane Ivan still brings back a flood of emotions for the Simses 20 years later. Uh, it was heartbreaking, seriously heartbreaking. Everyone, <clears throat> you know, broke down in tears when they saw what was left, if there was anything left. Many residents in the Grand Lagoon neighborhood off of Gulf Beach Highway evacuated, but when they returned, their neighborhood was unrecognizable. Didn't realize when we came back that everything was going to be history. Our neighborhood was total, like, like a bomb went off. For both the Simses and Curtis Mitchell, their homes were still standing, but the damage left a long road of repairs. The water was over my head in, in my house. The water had washed everything out underneath completely. No stairs, no walls or anything down here. The water level had gone up to where the porch is up there, which is about 13 feet. And when Hurricane Sally came, exactly 16 years later to the date, the Sims were ready to put up the for sale sign. But they simply couldn't leave their neighborhood behind. <laughs> I thought, I don't want to go do this again. I actually thought I need to sell this, you know, this house and, and move somewhere else. But uh, I got to thinking, well, where else would I go that's any nicer? One of the many things Hurricane Ivan left in its path lessons to be learned. When you see a freight train coming, you get off the track. In Escambia County, Alexa Daly, WKRG News 5.